Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We have a very special edition of Matt's RV Reviews. This is the Texas edition of Matt's RV Reviews. And with me is not Andrea, it's not Will, and it's not Jen. Who's behind the camera? What's going on guys? This is JD, Big Truck, Big RV. There's my trailer right over there. And this is actually my father's Winnebago. What's crazy is that, you know, I did a review on this yes. and I didn't realize how rare it was until Matt actually just told me, very, very rare class B. Yes. So, you know, while we're out here, he wanted to take a crack at reviewing it and he knows all about these things and I kind of struggle with the class Bs to be honest with you. So we're gonna collaborate on this one. Perfect, I'm excited to show everybody this unit, but first, we're starting in three, two, one. Great, again, thank you everybody so much for watching. And again, after this video, make sure you tune in to Matt's RV Reviews Tobles. Uh, if you show over there, uh, Matt's RV Reviews Tobles, we're debuting the review that we did of JD's fifth wheel. And make sure you guys tune in to Big Truck, Big RV because JD reviewed Will and Jen's Alliance fifth wheel. And JD's currently driving a Nissan Titan, which I'm on my third Nissan Titan. Will always makes fun of me about Nissan Titans. So I'm glad JD has one, at least for the week. They're cool trucks. They're cool. JD, you are 100% right about this motorhome. This is a super rare. JD asked me if, he knew, if I knew what this was and I'm like, yes, it's the 2016 2015, I believe. 15, 2015 Winnebago era 70C, which is one of the only Class B, one of the only true Class B motorhomes in the entire RV industry that actually gives you a slide out. And we'll show you what that looks like when it's out. So first and foremost, A's, B's, and C's. Class A's are built on an F53 chassis. It looks like a bus. A Class B is a unibody chassis. And then a Class C motorhome is a cutaway chassis now the market and you guys will see me do this all the time i'll call motorhomes b pluses no such thing it's technically a class c because of youtube and the algorithm it performs better when we call it a b plus but this is the only known class b motorhome that i know of that's a true b unibody chassis that has a slide out very very cool features you can tell this is the older mercedes and it's funny to call it older it's only six years old but um, you can tell from the headlight design, it does not have adaptive cruise control, it does not have lane assist, but everything under the hood stayed the same from the new version to last version. The 3.0 liter V6, 188 horsepower, 325 pound feet of torque. How many miles has your father put on it? Uh, at this point, I'm probably guessing he's put close to 2,000. Okay, he needs to put more on. Oh yeah. He needs to drive it around. He's only had it for about six months. There you go. Well, good. Um, it's always good to put lots of miles on these things. That's what they're made for. And uh, when somebody's looking at a used Mercedes, it's not uncommon to see 70, 80, 90,000 miles on them, and they will truly last forever. Right up here, JD, do you know what this is for? I'm assuming that's an air dam. No, it's a step so you can work on the engine, yeah, isn't it? No, it's a step so you can clean the front windshield. Oh. Yep, absolutely. Maybe to, maybe to work on the engine. We're in Texas, we don't clean front windshields. <laughs> <laughs> not in Texas, made in America. There's America and then there's Texas. <laughs> and then look at these wheels, JD. They're the Firestones, I love those. Transform H2. Now JD, oh, I'm very familiar with Winnebago. Those are not factory tires, are they? Those are not factory tires or wheels. Those okay. are Alcoa wheels that were provided for review on the channel and they are absolutely gorgeous. Perfect. Love my partners over at Alcoa. They make a fantastic product. I love it, I love it. Yeah, the Alcoa shiny rims. Now JD, JD is, one of the smartest people that I've ever met. There's Miss Big Truck, Big RV. Nice to see ya. Great, and JD, uh, maybe you can answer this because you're very technical. Do you know the difference between the different Alcoa stickers? Because I've seen the black ones and the green ones and I think blue ones. Honestly, I don't, that's a good question. I'm sure I could reach out to the folks at Alcoa. Sometimes it has to do with the finish because okay. Alcoa puts what they call a Durabrite finish on their yeah, wheels. Yeah, yeah, it's the Durabrite sticker. Yeah, the Durabrite finish is actually designed to make it pretty much spray it with a hose to clean it off, like ah. no scrubbing. It's just, they're insane. And that's what I have on my F450. And literally, I don't have to wash the truck for a year and the wheels still look clean. Good, It's pretty good. crazy. Cool, right up here we do have uh, mirrors on both sides. We uh, unlock this door. Oh, I did there you go. 
Coming on in on the door, we do have nice uh, fiberglass running boards to get in and out of the motorhome. And then right here, we do have very nice, and then look at that slide out right there. Again, it is so unique to see a slide out on a B-Van motorhome. And then this. I don't think they have it in. Okay, doesn't have it in, but it is a sliding door, or? I think this one's. No, this one's. Kind of a Velcro attached Velcro door. Velcro all the way attached. Interesting setup there. I wonder what they did. Cool. Yeah, that's weird. Coming around, we do have a carefree awning with wind sensor. Nice uh, speakers on the outside. Power on the outside as well. Coax. And then coming around the back, we do have a spare tire for a uh, spare tire carrier. 5,000 pound hitch. I always say you can used to be towing about 4,300 pounds. And then here, we do have a door with tons of accessories and everything. And then coming around to the driver's side, you have the Aldi instant hot tankless water heater. Here's where you're dumping your black and gray tank, which is very nice, especially on a B-Van. Uh, underneath generator, it's probably an Onan 36 mm -hmm. LP. Yep. Cool, cool. And then right here, 30 amps. And then here is where you're gonna be storing your stinky, no, outdoor shower. Very nice. Anything you wanna contribute to the outside, JD? Uh, I honestly know very little about these. Okay. Um, and, and I was talking to Matt about that earlier where when you talk about motorized units, there's so many things that are different about different models and they just change all the time. So, mm -hmm. you know, we, we were kind of joking around about where, you know, on the towable side, I've been doing that since my channel started. On the motorized side, you've been doing that. And as we cross streams a little bit, yes. sometimes you realize just how confusing some of the differences can be. For sure, for sure. And with these B-Vans, they always make them a little extra complicated for me. Everybody on my show knows that I love B-Vans. But uh, let's take a look at the inside. And let's uh, figure, oh wow, great looking bathroom back there. How did they do that? So they made some changes to the bathroom. This is probably one of the single biggest areas. Oh, wow. Interesting, interesting. Okay. I'm going to hand the camera to you so you can yes. kind of do your thing in there. Uh, can we get the lights on first? Matt's RV Reviews is proudly sponsored by RV Life. Tools that make camping simple. Everybody knows when it comes to camping, it can be a little stressful, but not with RV Life. So first, discover, research campgrounds and other locations of interest with detailed information, but for RVers. Plan your trip accordingly with the popular Trip Planner. That software is amazing. It's gonna tell you the best routes and you can go with your RV safe GPS. Not only are you typing in your specifications so it knows not to take you under any low bridges, but you can actually use that offline. So so if you're at a place with no Wi-Fi, you'll still have your GPS and you can share it with their RV community, guys. RV Life is more than just an app. It's an awesome program that all RVers should have. What we're doing is a free seven day trial for Matt's RV Reviews customers and 25% off on top of that. So all you do is go to their website, rvlife.com, sign up for the free seven day trial by clicking our link down below or typing in Matt's RV Reviews. Don't download the app because you, then you won't get the free seven days. So do it on the website, register Matt's RV Reviews, then download the app. We appreciate RV Life for sponsoring this video and sponsoring Matt's RV Reviews. Let's continue the video. Wow, JD, this is truthfully one of the best bathrooms I've ever been in a motorhome. But as Matt's RV Review style, we are always going to start with the front. Up front here. Oh, we got it a little up some. It's right in the middle underneath your legs. Oh, right there. Oh, okay, a lot better. Right here, the 3.0 liter V6. Very nice. Good fuel economy. 31,000 miles on this unit. I love that. Mercedes are made to be driven. Diesels are made to be driven. That's a great thing. Nice steering wheel. Power windows right here. And then this is something that's unique that you're not seeing on very many uh, B vans anymore is this front window shade slides over to the left and to the right um, for privacy when you're parked this seat it looks like it might not swivel I think it does okay right here yes sir it does that seat swivels and that one does too oh very interesting very nice right up here let's see if there's stuff in here 
Okay, a little bit of storage underneath there. And then JD, do you know how many miles to the gallon he's getting in this? He claims he's getting in the 20s, like the low really? 20s. I don't know how Phenomenal. true that is, but that, I mean. I mean, maybe he's rounding up like <laughs> we all do. Yeah, right? exactly. Okay, but look at this space, guys. You know I don't like b -Vans. I'm looking at this and I'm liking this a lot right now. It is so nice. Okay, we got a little bit of storage up here. Very, very nice. And then I like this high gloss looking brown wood here. And then right over here is a sofa with the MCD slow rise shades. There's the official big truck, big RV trailer right there. Very cool, we got lights here. And this does not come out to make a bed. It does. Oh, it does? Yes. Do you know how? Yep, I believe you flip the bottom towards you. Like, uh, he showed me, we actually did it in one Ooh, of the videos. Is it the top? Or is it electric? Mm. Actually, you might want to look in there to see Flex it in steel. that same closet. Flex steel. Nope. He, oh, wait, hold on. I don't want to break it. Or do you lift there it up? is. Oh. Oh, interesting. Watch your step there. Oh, wow. Crazy. There is a, there's at least one seatbelt there. Look at that. Oh, what am I saying? There's no bed back there. Of yeah. course it has to make a bed. Oh, interesting. Okay, very, very unique. Definitely getting some extra padding there. You're definitely gonna want a foam topper. Very crazy though how they did was, this. Yeah, I was thinking there was a bedroom back there for some reason. Not that's how realized. they give you that crazy bathroom. Right, that's how they do it. Very cool. Okay, over here in the kitchen. Very nice, solid surface countertops. You have a TV right up there. Oh, okay, very nice. Got a fire stick. You know, I just bought a new fire stick TV. Like the TVs in the fire stick or yeah, whatever. Awesome. Yep. Uh, I say, I think it's Hey Amazon or something like that, or Hey Siri or something like that. TV off. TV goes off. It's the coolest thing I've ever bought. Right here, we do have a nice window. Happy camper sign. Real quick. Yes. Talk to me. What if the TV program itself says, Hey Amazon, TV off? So, funny story. Uh, one, I don't know what's gonna happen, but I have an Apple Watch and I kept giving it instructions and then people who are watching on TV said their Amazons are picking it up. Mm -hmm. So, um, hey Amazon, switch to YouTube and watch Big Truck, Big RV. <laughs> <laughs> and Matt's RV reviews. Yes. Uh, refrigerator right here, very great size refrigerator. Um, it's Norco, you got a little freezer, fridge right here. JD, you might not know this, but in motorhomes, they're not as big fridge as towables. But not only that, on B vans, normally the fridge. Oh yeah, it's tiny. I call them dorm fridges. I absolute worst part about all class Bs. Right here, we have a ton of wardrobe space that we'll leave closed. Um, over here, we got nice little sink space. Very nice drawers, and I love the push buttons as well. Oh, yeah. Very nice. And then back here we have a microwave. And then right here, just more hanging wardrobe space. Very, very nice. It's gonna get tight back there, so I'm gonna hand you the camera so you can do your thing. Yes, sir. Right here we do have a very nice shower. They modified that and put that sliding door there for the shower. This? Interesting. It typically has two pane glasses guys look at this this is absolutely amazing i have a ton of head height in here right over here we do have the sink right there nice uh medicine cabinet oh and everything that you'll need right there and then here's a little table if you want to bring it with you and then jd if you don't mind holding it again i got you at a good angle porcelain I don't know man I'm hugging but there's a table here yeah because this is a true class BJD this is a prime poop position Bing. 
Very nice. Well, JD, oh, here I, I got I, one thing to add. Yes. So he had told my father had told me about this very unique heating and cooling or heating system that it has, where it draws air in from the bottom, okay, and then heats it up behind the wall and blows it out the top. Are you familiar with that system? It's never, all controlled through this. Never heard of that in my life. Oh, the Aldi. Yeah. Hmm. Nope, still not familiar with it. <laughs> yeah, so the, this controls the water heating as well as the heat. Is it, oh, a hydronic heating system? Yes, yes. Oh, I didn't know they did those in Class Bs. Yeah. So a lot of the, um, like the Oasis water heaters and all them, they're doing that. So they put that in here? Yeah, so it's got the Aldi system and apparently it heats the water up and then it runs the air by it yes. to blow out the warm air. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, a lot of the, uh, like the American coaches are doing that and a lot of the higher end units. So that's pretty cool. A lot of great stuff going on in here. Makes mm -hmm. you wonder why Winnebago isn't making this floor plan anymore. Yeah. Because it's no kicking idea. butt and taking names. It's crazy because they went from a a Class C, a large Class C Concord, uh -huh. to a, uh, a Class A diesel pusher. Yep. To a Class B pleasure way. Yep. It was a cutaway, but yep, it was yep, a pleasure way. Yep. And then they went to this one. And it took them forever to find this floor plan. And once yeah. they found it, he, he basically said it has so many interesting little features you typically would never see right. on a Class B. Right. Well, JD, oh, let's step outside. That's it. Oh, are you recording still? Yeah. That's it. That's the review. Thank you so much for having us at your farm or your ranch. What do you call this? A, a ranch. ranch. Yeah, probably yeah. ranch. We're in Texas. It's a ranch. Thank you so much. And thank you for sharing with us not just this awesome motorhome, but your awesome Brookstone. And thank you for sharing on your channel, Will and Jen's Alliances. Um, again, guys, uh, we're premiering all three videos at one time. So once you're done with this video, make sure you tune in to Matt's RV Reviews Tobles. Check out that Brookstone. And then make sure you check in the JD's channel, Big Truck, Big RV, and check out the Alliance Avenue. JD, is there anything that you want to say to America? No, it's been fun. This is the first time we've had a chance to meet in person. We, we've been on the phone several times. Yes. And we've talked shop quite a bit, but, yes. you know, it's it's certainly fun when you meet other collaborators. You know, and there's a lot of channels to subscribe to just by watching this, but the reality is there's a lot of great content out there, period. Yes. And it's always good to get a perspective from everybody because what me and Matt think about an RV, RV may be completely different than what you think about it. What yeah. works for us may not work for you. Some people would love to have a, you know, a cassette toilet or would love to have a wet bath. Oh man. You know, me personally, I couldn't, I couldn't imagine. JD, don't swear on my YouTube channel, please. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? And that's right. the thing. It's just everybody has different opinions and I think that that's what's so awesome about all these different channels and getting them together is we get to express those opinions and and understand why some people feel the way they do about certain things so yes, it's really cool I love it and thank you again so much for having us in Texas make sure you guys check out all the other videos and uh, we'll see you guys next time take care guys